welcome back to another edition of Uncommon Sense. On this channel, we talk about all things fragrance, fashion, style, design, mental health, wellness, well-being, and self-care. So if you're into that type of content, make sure that you stick around because you're going to want to stay tuned in to what we got going on here. Once you've taken a look around at the content and figure out this is the place for you to be, and it is. Like, comment, and subscribe. We're coming to bring you my spring top 10 men's fragrances for 2021. So oh, this is the designer edition. We'll be right back with some Uncommon Sense. Every single day, I'm gonna make something great. That's my way. Every single day, I'm gonna make something great. right in with the honorable mention of the fragrances that I'll be wearing for my top 10 this spring. That's going to be Jimmy Choo Man Ice has a very fresh kind of like lemon squirt type of freshness. Really enjoy this fragrance. My only odd with it is it does not have the best longevity. It's been compared to Zara's Vibrant summer leather cologne as well as your own cologne and a host of other freshies that i smell i really enjoy that fragrance it's about half gone i just really wished it lasted a lot longer but citrus based fragrances don't last as long as on me but that's why this is an honorable mention for spring 2021 going right into my number 10 spot is john barbados artist in blue one of the only fragrances that features a note of chayote which is in the kirkerbit family cucumbers boards etc very fresh, green and blue type of fragrance. Ugh. Love that bottle. Very clean, aquatic, only off with it. It does not last the longest on my skin. Partially the reason I wear these fragrances in spring because you get the mix of both types of weather seasons in Chicago. It's still pretty cool, but you still get a little bit of warmth. And that's when these types of fragrances shine on my skin. This one lasts about four hours on my skin. I enjoy it. It actually smells very close to Fashionable's own, I think it is. I had that, gave that away, kept this guy. Coming up to my number nine spot, Davida Cool Water, the coolest edition. First and foremost, the presentation I just am in love with. This fragrance is minty while still being aquatic. A huge bottle. This one features the note of that aquatic cool water DNA with an added note of peppermint. I enjoy a good mint in my fragrance, as well as an aquatic, fresh, clean, sexy scent. That's what you're getting with this one. You're getting some green notes in there, lots of aquatics, and peppermint. This one lasts moderately on my skin, sits a little closer, but it's fresh, it's clean, it's sexy, and cool water. The cool stuff. Coming up to my number eight spot, we got Kenneth Cole Black Bowl. This is another fragrance that is very green, but it's aquatic as well. This one features a note of lotus, which I love that uncommon note. Mm, it's so sexy, but it's very green and herbal, but you still get that aquatic along with it. It's fresh, it's clean, it's luring. It's an EDP. This one actually lasts and projects on my skin very well. So Kenneth Cole Black Bowl is gonna make it to my eighth spot for my spring. 2021 top 10 for men's designer fragrances. Coming up to my number seven spot, this fragrance comes from one of the houses that I really enjoy and have a great amount of fragrances from, aside from that city. When we're talking about niche fragrances, we're talking about designers. At Zaro's Wild Mint. This is a newer release for 2019, I believe. It features a melon aquatic note, like Calypso. It puts me in the mind of Michael Kors Extreme Blue a bit, but you get, of course, mint. Aquatics, something a little sweet in there. Mm. It kind of smells like mint, Twizzlers, and aquatics on my skin. Coming up to my number six spot, we have Franck Olivier's Eau de Passion Intense. This one is said to be very close to Chanel's Platinum Egoist, which I can get that. 
This one is fresh, kind of soapy in a way, but it's so sexy. And it's an affordable fragrance. I paid no more than about 30 bucks for this one for two and a half ounce. It has a slight clean minty feel, but again, that's kind of my zhuzh anyway. Coming up to my number five spot, we got Dunhill Icon. The scent is just so gentlemanly, but that bottle, this bottle, crazy. Heavy cap, nice sprayer. Gives you a good amount of juice. Mm, we got the Roly, pepper, and a lot of people say they get like a grape soda kind of vibe from this one. So I do kind of get that vibe on my skin a little bit, but it's a little more toned down. It isn't syrupy sweet, but I really like the Neroli in this one, partially because it's very fresh and it's very clean. And it just really reminds me of what spring is all about. Being fresh, clean, renewed, and ready for action. Dunhill Icon is one of those types of fragrances I would wear on the first date or I would wear on a date. It's one of those types of fragrances I would wear on an interview or a business meeting because it just kind of has that overall general appeal. Mm, it's very sexy, it's gentlemanly, it's a steam, it's fly, and ain't nobody gonna say you smell bad. But that does for my number five spot on this top ten. Coming up to my number four spot, one of the classics from my collection from when I first started really getting into fragrances when I was much younger. Marguerite Blue. It's fresh, clean, esteemed. It has a luxury soap and a steamed gentleman type of fragrance. Um, it's no lemon listed in here, but it has a lemon quality, and there's no lavender listed in here, but it has a very fresh, clean, like fougere type of feel about it. So that's gonna be Bulgari Blue. Mm. So sexy. So fresh, clean. Cause ain't nobody do with me, I'm just so fresh. So fresh and so clean, clean. Cause we are the coolest motherfuckers on the planet. I, I, the sky is all the name, no need to panic. Ooh, ooh. I got your stick and want your automatic. Ooh, ooh. Compatible, creative in the attic. Next up, from my number three spot, we got Thierry Moublet's Crypto Mint. I love mint. Mint in my fragrances, mint in my food, mint in the air. These are the types of fragrances that smell amazing on me and remind me of spring. You get mint and cacao and that signature Thierry Mugler DNA. Mm. It's kind of like got an effervescence, it's almost like champagne. Love this fragrance. As you can kind of see, mid or halfway through in this one. This is one that I wear. I wear it more seasons than just spring, but I think mostly about it in spring because mint is green. It reminds me of renewal and revival, emerging, fresh, sexy, crypto mint. And that's our number three spot on this top 10. Coming up to our number two spot, gentlemen, Givenchy. This is the 2017 release. So fresh, clean, and classic. This is a fragrance that has a all around appeal. I've worn this in the winter time, but it really shines in spring. The iris and lavender in this one, fresh, clean, nobody is going to say that you don't smell good wearing this fragrance. Even if you don't love iris, even if you don't love lavender, this fragrance just has a classic appeal. And it's one of my more versatile fragrances in terms of the time I can wear it and the scent itself, the scent profile. So that's why it is number two on my spring top 10 2021 designers list. Mm. Mm. Classic. A classic man. Cute to I'm a classic man. This clean, I'm a classic man. That's what I'm talking about. Classic man. We've arrived. We made it to the number one spot for our spring. 2021 top 10 for men designer fragrances list and that fragrance is none other than one of my favorite designers around at this point in time in history and that's Tom Ford's Grave Vetiver Eau de Toilette. The Tom Ford Grave Vetiver Eau de Toilette version is one of my favorite fragrances for spring. It made the top 10 so you know it's got to be good right? This is one of the fragrances of Tom Ford's that I had to have a full bottle of when I smelled it. I've smelled the Eau de Parfum. I don't like it as much as the Eau de Toilette because this one is more sparkly. Oak moss, vetiver, mm, it's just so fresh, 
clean, sexy. This is a business meeting type of fragrance. This one is probably gonna require a bit of a more mature nose. Not mature as an old, but mature that can appreciate the type of artistry that went into making this fragrance. This fragrance is a little bit more polarizing in terms of when I can wear it, but it's so clean and classic. Oh, this is one of my favorite time for fragrances, and I will never stop recommending this. Check out that video coming out soon. Cause this is a fragrance I am not on. I'm never going to stop recommending. This is one of my favorites. It is discontinued, so that's going to be a challenge. So I probably shouldn't. I probably should stop recommending it. Whatever. This is one of my favorite fragrances by Tom Ford. Thanks to my man Mario Dones, we do have a comparable replacement. The Art of Shavings Better Burns the Trunk. They're very similar in profile. They're not the same. They're very similar in profile. So. When I can no longer find this at a price I want to pay for it, we have a backup of sort. And I know that there are other ones around like Just Jack's Silver or something like that. That's a comparable replacement, so I've heard of and I tried it for myself, so probably can't throw lips on that. But again, that does it for the top 10 men's spring 2021. What? Designer edition fragrances. Fuck that up. That's gonna do it for it the men's top 10 for spring 2021 designer edition and again i want to thank all of you all for coming through showing me love and support watching this video sharing caring showing up to the lives super chats and super stickers and giving unto your heart i just want to continue to give back to you guys the type of content that you want and need so hit the comments below let me know what you think of this top 10 let me know what you think of the setup let me know what you think of the flyness you know just let me know hit me in the comments you know i love you from the bottom of my heart the top of the size all the way around and then we're gonna lift it up and love on you underneath too so next time y'all and we'll be around you'll catch me in these youtube streets all right